What's up, boopers? Welcome to the third episode of BDO Weekly, where we talk about new tips, guides, and information that has come up in the past week of May 4th, 2016, in regards to Black Desert Online. So let's get started. Boop. Horse riders rejoice! Dom has announced that they will be giving out compensations for the fake T5 horses that were given out for Conqueror's packs. If you are out of the loop, players who bought the $100 Conqueror's pack and received a free tier 5 horse were kind of ripped off because the T5 horse they received not only was always male and only had one breeding attempt, but when bred with other horses, it acted as a T3 horse. After much complaining, Dom has agreed to compensate Conqueror's pack owners by giving everyone a free T5 female that actually breeds as a T5 as well as a free female breeding reset token. All of which can be claimed in your account page, presumably after today's maintenance. Some other neat news that Dom has launched its official TV commercial to advertise the game. This is a great way for new players to get in touch with the game. Black Desert's been a little weak on the publicity side, and with it we can expect to see a lot more people looking at the game and starting to play. So remember how daunting this game can be to learn, and be sure to help out new players if you see them. CM Jowska has confirmed that titles in the game do not grant passive hidden bonuses, so you can finally put your tinfoil hats away when enchanting, knowing that wearing certain titles have no effect on your chances to succeed or fail an enchant, and any supposed effects have simply been placebo effects. In Korea, they have recently released some new costumes for rangers, tamers, witches, and wizards. No idea the exact date we can expect these costumes to hit NA and EU, but in addition to these new costumes, a costume creation contest has started in Korea. While the contest was limited to Korean players, Dom, EU, and NA have expressed their desire to host a similar contest for NA and EU players too. So start brushing up on your artistic talents. I even took a shot at designing a costume for a ranger myself. Let's all pray and hope they take it seriously so everyone can run around looking like boopers. For this week's screenshots, you guys sent in a ton. It's really hard to choose from some of these, so I went with three. I decided to name them. The first is the Rainy Horse Winnie, submitted by Mythologia from the EU Jordan server. Then we've got Sunset with the Doggy, submitted by Tetari from Alustin. And lastly, Everything is Red from Yotoru. Thanks a lot for the submissions and keep sending them in to domaran at mail.com with your character or family names. But guys, it's time to get into some meaty stuff. Let's take a look at sieges. In Korea, season 4 of Siege Wars is beginning and they made quite a few changes. I want to specially thank the user Seraphiel for translating and making a PDF note form of all the upcoming changes to Node and Siege Wars that we can expect. The PDF is long and detailed, and I will link it in the description, but some important notes is that node sieges now go across the whole week. Which node is up for grabs will change each day, meaning guilds will be able to fight to claim a different node every day of the week. And the siege battles generally range from 8pm to midnight. But for all you smaller guilds, there's very good news. Any guild that claims a castle node will no longer be able to own small nodes. So while the castles are more appealing to large guilds, if you were worried about your less hardcore, maybe smaller guild with less members being able to contest nodes at all, you can go for nodes instead of castles and not have to deal with those daunting hardcore guilds that go for the castles. Other big changes include that all GVGs will be suspended during Siege Wars. And a lot of you are not sure how big of a deal this is, but it means that multi-guild legions can no longer have their sub-guilds with no siege towers in a node declare war and help them win the node, essentially eliminating all the benefits of having sub-guilds. So suck it, zergs! But I highly recommend you check out the entire document yourselves and learn everything you can about sieges and node wars as we will be getting them very, very, very soon. With that in mind, lastly, let's talk about the patch notes for today. We have a new event for Mother's Day and an event called the Yoho Ho event that comes with the release of the Southern Media region, which will include three dungeons. One is in the Helms, one is on the Pirate Island, and one is in the Southern Media region. We've also got the addition of Boss Armor finally. You can obtain Boss Armor from Red Nose, Giath, Beg, and Muskin. For the rest of the patch notes, check out the link below. But that's it for this week's episode. So. Tune in next week. For now, I am booping out. Boop.